Hello and welcome to Instructables TV. Today we're going to learn how to sharpen this butcher knife. It's a pig knife that I bought from the man and his wife in China who made it for a dollar last week. All right. So the first time you get a knife, pretty often it's got a bad edge on it. Here's what you do about that. I'm not going to talk. I'll just show you. much of that as you want till you don't see any reflections on the blade and you can't maybe you'll be catching a little bit of a burr here and what you want is an edge that kind of catches your thumb here when you can catch your thumbnail here that's a sharp knife okay unlike what you might have heard here's how you sharpen a butcher knife you get a coarse stone we got this not really coarse enough beautiful bog man style stone here here's you draw sharpen it this is sharpening a butcher's knife. You're putting a bunch of hairy fuzz on here, or you can get some sandpaper, even really coarse sandpaper, and you do the same thing. You draw sharpen it like that, and then you get a nice hairy edge, and you can, it's great for, look at that, just for going through soft tissue. That's what a butcher knife is for. See someone cut, tried to cut this with the wrong kind of edge here. Let's, uh, let's do that over with our butcher knife. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. That's how you sharpen a butcher knife. This is a butcher knife sharpened like a butcher knife. But when you start, you know, hacking at wood with it, you know, you start getting a little burr. The burr gets folded over. It's not a strong edge. So the way you make a strong edge is you take and this is how they do it all over the world. You take a piece of glass and you take various coarsenesses of sandpaper. We'll start with some 320 here. Where's a 320? There's a nice sheet of 320. You get it wet. Being wet helps it float the stuff off. And you go. You look at your edge, you see, oh, it's hmm, it's exactly oh, such and so at an angle. Well, that's the angle. You can also just look at it, see what part's getting shiny. You want to just be hitting it. And then once you're satisfied with that, you raise the angle just enough and you shave. You're shaving the top level off the sandpaper. You do most of your work on your coarsest grit. Then you move up. Oop. Here's, here's my 400. And then you go up to your finest grit. I'll stop at 600 because I'm lazy, some people. But it's just a couple of strokes and you raise it ever so slightly. And you see that you're shaving off and you're pushing this metal mud along and the grit. And that's how you make, you do that on both sides. And then you can catch your, catch your thumbnail there with that. Yeah, now that's, that's a sharp. And that's a strong edge. That's good for cutting wood. That'll last a long time for cutting wood. And that's how you sharpen a knife for cutting wood. But what if you don't have a sharpening stone? What if you're at your friend's house for dinner and you're trying to be all suave and debonair and cut a tomato and it's just not cutting and there's no stone? Well, you can use a lot of things for a sharpening stone, like the bottom of, a, of a, any kind of ceramic thing. The, uh, the lid from the water closet. So you just haul out the top of the water closet and you sharpen up the blades and everyone will be so impressed. And you'll definitely be invited back because they'll have sharp knives and the tomatoes will be sliced ever so well. You need never have a dull knife. 